What's the last sports center you did? Wow, you had to think about it. Oh, it's so long ago. Come on. Honestly, you're going to laugh. You know what I think it was? I think it was the Bush Push game. USC, uh, Notre Dame. Oh, oh, wow. Are you serious? Yeah, it was some Saturday, some random Saturday night, and they said, hey, can you come in? I'm like, yeah, fine. You haven't done a sports center in almost 10 years? No. Well, NFL Live was daily for 15 years. I mean, that was, 2000, no, I do those that sport- was 2005, Rich. You know, I, I, Trey, you haven't done a sports center in 14 <laughs> years. I understand you're doing so much other stuff, but not even once you open the ske- you open the schedule. Do you open the schedule anymore? No. No. no just, that used to be such a right? crapshoot. For those what, that don't know, they used to be absolute yeah. total crapshoot. They, they used to put out here's the month schedule for all the anchors. Yes. And you would open this. Okay, what am I doing? Am I doing what am I doing Monday? Am I doing baseball wraps? Am I doing baseball tonight? Am I doing the one a.m. sports center, the six o'clock sports center, the eleven a.m.? Am I on the ten to twelve news shift? Where am I? Right. So that, that always like, was a lot of drama. About oh that. yeah, the, the, a lot of drama about the schedule. That's how yeah. I learned that I was a team with Stuart Scott. Is I would yeah. open up the schedule, and then all of a sudden we would sit down next to each other on the set, and like again. Mm-hmm. And then when it happened two, three, four straight months in a row, yeah. we would look at each other. At one point, we'd looked at each other. We're like, are we yeah. a team? Like, because it's not. You weren't a team. You guys were a great team. I appreciate you saying you guys, that. And by the way, it's Stu's birthday today. It is. It would have been 54 years old today. Yeah, 54 today. So we'll go out and get some ice cream with your kids. That's right. Tay put it on Twitter, at, at tag, at Tay and Sid. Yes. Scoops for Stu. That's right. 54 years. Look at you, man. Now, listen, you were, yeah. you were much closer, but if you don't mind, like, sort of delving here for a minute. Please. Uh, you know, Stuart and I were friendly, and we got along. We were fine. Um, but we weren't like you guys. You know, you guys hung out all the time. There was one year. Did Were you ever, or were you already gone when we the ESP and the weekend things happened? I must be gone. Okay. The, unless was, I was uninvited. No, no, you would have been invited. So, yeah, uh, you know, we, we invaded well, Disney World and we did all the shows down there for ESPN the weekend. Okay. So, one year, for whatever reason, I got down there a little early and Stu got down there a little early and w- no one else was there. So, we're like, why don't we go play golf? So, we went and played a round of golf at one of the Disney courses. And, you know, we were really pretty bad golfers. But we found the bar car and we had a great time and we're playing great. some terrible golf and having a few cocktails. And we finished up the round, and we just were laughing our asses off. Excuse me, bottoms. It's all good. Um, and because we just we just had a blast. We were just the two of us cutting up, talking about schedules and all that kind of junk. And we said, you know, let's do this again, man. This was great. And we got back to Bristol. Hey, man, whenever you – yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Well, you know, he went one way. I went another way. Sure. And we never, ever did it again. So I always tell – whenever we talk about Stu and the V Foundation or anything, especially today on his birthday – Whenever you think you have the time, do it. Exactly. I would give almost anything to have that round with Stu again, and it's just never going to happen. I have dreams that I'm back on the set with him. Oh, yeah. And I can see that. You know, and I, I see, you know, I see when Linda's doing it and, yeah. and, and Kenny's doing it, and yeah. and I saw that Dan got to go back. Yeah. You know, w- wore and the visitors' badge the entire time. I know, and I Proudly. saw that, and and I think to myself. I would give, you know, whatever I could to do one more show with him. Yeah. I really think that a lot. Yeah. I, I, I and I'm and I it it pains me. It just like I get very emotional that I'm not able to like we will never be able to do that. No. And you know, it's just um it's it's a life reminder that just take the time. Right. right? Just take and the and time. another reminder too that you never know. Sometimes you just get thrown in and then you, you get to meet somebody or get to hang with them and you're like, you know what? We, we we should do this more often. Correct. And, you know, I have no idea why, you know, a Jewish kid from Staten Island mm. and, a, you know, a, a brilliantly hilarious yeah. person of color from yeah. Chicago and right. North Carolina would, would, would work. But it did. Where he would drop all of his catchphrases and I would drop all of mine. I would be totally confused by his, yeah. and he would be totally confused by mine. My favorite story, and I'll, I'll tell this, and then we'll, you know, was when I dropped a, a line, probably from, you know, from this had to be like 97, 98, towards the end of the Seinfeld run. Yeah. And I dropped a line from Seinfeld. Yeah. We go to break, place is laughing. He just says to me, he goes, What was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm true. Like, I'm like, well, what was what? Yeah. And he goes, well, what was that line? I'm like, oh, it's from Seinfeld. He goes, brothers don't watch Seinfeld. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know? So 
there's that too, <laughs> you know, that he a line would, of demarcation. He, exactly. Yeah. But but it worked. Like yeah. sometimes I wouldn't understand and he would understand and I would un, you know, and yeah. I do miss him. I'm glad you brought him up. No, I, I didn't mean it. Just you know, no, I I'm thought glad of it today. You, no, you know, his birthday it's it's, and, it's uh, I'll talk about it anytime. Right, can, I, can I tell one more? Are we up against it? Can I tell one more we quick are, story? We are, go for it. Okay. So you were already there when I got there, and and uh, there was a there was a little controversy when I first arrived at ESPN. I do remember this with uh, the towels. Right? Yes. So long story short. Oh yeah, this is no. A, go ahead. You okay. have the floor. A a a uh, a columnist for the St. Louis Post Dispatch, who I'm not sure if he's there anymore, so I won't mention his name. Dan Caesar. Because you, <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you came from St. Yeah, Louis. Yeah, came from St. Louis. Right. Did an interview with me and said, and the first thing he said to me when we were doing the interview was, "So, are you going to be getting Dan Patrick's coffee? You know, is that your job?" And I said, "Well, I hope I'm not going to be his towel boy too long." And then we did this whole interview about, "Well, you know, you're doing this. What do you want to do? Blah 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 blah." And the headline was, Wingo headed to ESPN News, hopes not to be towel boy too long and make jump to SportsCenter. And I was like, you totally bagged me, okay? Because that's, that's not how this went at all. But fine, whatever. So it's created quite a stir. When you walked in the when door. When I walked in the door, there was people that were very upset, as I can understand, had that been the case, which it was not. Um, so that everybody signed a towel for me, which I've showed Rich, I still have. And it was like towel boy rules, in by four, out by two, whatever. <laughs> Get laundry, blah, blah, blah. Everyone had a snide remark on it. You did not sign it. I, I did not. You did not sign it. No. Stu I... signed it, and all he said was welcome, which I thought was pretty cool. Who had the most disparaging snide remark on the towel? Good question. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to say. I don't want to talk about people that way. <laughs> nice si perfect <laughs> sipping of the cup there now i do remember uh, i think uh mr jason jackson was the particularly very upset when he was the one who was sending the towel around. i can neither confirm nor deny uh, i can confirm this. okay <laughs> i'll confirm it for you for more of the rich eisen show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv for free on br live or download the rich eisen show app